Hi, I'm Vernaz and welcome to Low Carb Keto Recipes and Having Fun. So today I have yet another innovative and exciting recipe for you. So we're standing in my kitchen. Let's get cooking and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell for all my future recipes. See you in my next recipe. Okay, let's begin with this exciting recipe. Okay, I'm just putting my mixing bowl on a, a measuring uh, thing. And we're going to be using pea protein isolate. Absolutely an amazing ingredient. Zero carbs, zero fat, low in calories. It's a great ingredient and I'm going to put it to many uses. So I'm putting in one fourth of a cup of that. I put the gram measurements in the description box. Just two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese and giving it a good mix. The only calories you're going to get from this is from the Parmesan cheese. Now we are going to use one egg white, one large egg white. Don't worry about the how the grams of it. It can be 30, it can be 34, it can be even 40. Don't worry about that at all. Now I'm giving all this a good mix. And to this, I'm going to be adding half a cup of hot water. Keep mixing it because your uh, eggs shouldn't start cooking. I put the entire half cup of hot water and you should get a liquid batter like this. Now you're going to wonder, how am I going to make chips with a liquid batter? So let me show you. Take a non-stick pan, see that it's well heated. You can even add a little bit of ghee to the bottom or any oil of your choice, just a little bit. And I've put in a bit of the mixture and I'm going to swirl it and we are going to cook this. This will take a little longer to cook than uh, your, when things have almond flour and uh, coconut flour. Allow it to cook on uh, one side for about a minute and a half, two minutes. And don't worry, it's not going to burn either. You'll see little bubbles coming up and that's when you know that you can flip it. This might need a little practice, but soon you will make these lovely and use these as tortillas too. So I'm putting the rest of the mixture in and we're going to do the same swirling process. And we have these two tortilla almost ready, which are going to be made into chips. Now I have deep fried the chips and I have tried air frying them. Both work amazingly well. I'm going to show you the deep frying part today, but feel free to uh, uh, air fry them too at 180 degrees centigrade and cut them into squares or triangles and um, uh, deep uh, air fry it for about 12 to 13 minutes. Uh, at 180 degrees centigrade. This one I flipped over just for a few seconds. And uh, now we are going to take this onto a chopping board and cut them into whatever shapes you like. I'm making them into squares. You can make them into like uh, nacho triangles, however you wish. And now we are going to deep fry these. Uh, use a combination of avocado oil and ghee or refined coconut oil, whatever you like, your preferred uh, choice. I have a very small deep fryer, so I'm going to be um, putting a few. But if you're doing it in a pan, you can do more. Now, let them deep fry really, really well. Again, if you don't deep fry them well, they will be a little soggy. But otherwise, they are so crispy and so yummalicious. And um, here's another load that I've done. I still have lots more to do. So keep deep frying them for about two, three minutes. And you'll see them turn into a golden brown. And here are your amazing chips, tortilla chips for life. Thanks for watching.